What's up YouTube friends? I have another little tip for you, a little trick, so to speak. Um, spinner baits, buzz baits, uh, we all know that it's best to have a trailer hook on them. And um, if you've ever bought, I bought Gamagatsu trailer hooks, one aughts, and they come with this tube. I'm not sure if you've ever tried, but in theory you're supposed to be able to put this tube over the eye and then thread your primary hook through that tube. In fact, or essentially making it a hanging uh, trailer hook. But that's too hard, so we're not going to do that. And then for most of us, we'll cut a little piece of plastic off. You can use uh, any kind of little plastic, i.e. pieces off of packaging, cut little squares off. And essentially, we'll thread on my trailer hook, and as you can see there, and just puncture that through there. And that... Is very effective as well and it's free but I discovered something um, just recently that I want to try out with you and uh, see how it works these here are rubber earring backs they are pick them up at Walmart two dollars eighty eight cents 50 pack of them something I can take out of here put into a little Tylenol bottle something I keep in my tackle box and these, in theory, will make the perfect trailer hook clips. So, let me open this up here and show you what I mean. These are super small, so you can have plenty of them. 15 a pack for less than three bucks. Maybe a little over it, depending on what your state tax is. And if I can ever get them open, here, that's the little part there. Oh, proved to be difficult. So there we go. So there we are, a little tiny rubber, and they have a hole already in them. So, we're going to take our trailer hook, and I'm going to use this old spinner bait I found because it's rusted but no skirt on it and don't feel like taking one of my own off so we're going to put our hook on there and we're going to essentially go right through the hole that's already in this earring back and we're going to thread it over top of the hook make sure you don't pinch yourself but Sorry, the blades are anyway. Just punch that over. Get over the barb. And you can always cut these off later. Well, there you go. Now you have a small compact trailer hook. And if you think about it, throw two of them on there, you can actually peg your trail hook to follow directly behind there. So those aren't coming off. I'll straight out the package uh, before you get the hook in there. They do look like all oh, those are going to work. My trailer hook's going to slide right on top of them. So that trailer hook. And one of these little earring backs. And they're just the right size that they won't go all the way through. And then by the time you stick a hook in there as well, you've, uh, you've made that size a little bit bigger. But there it is. A little tip for you. So now you can go from having this which is effective, don't get me wrong. If this is what you prefer, go for it. But now you have a nice little tidy stopper there out of a plastic rubber earring back. And uh, it's not going to move at all on its own. Pin two of them on there. Just picture that there's another one on there in between the hooks. Your hook's going to always stay this way. Uh, it's nice to have a little free in though. We don't want it too tight because you don't want your hook getting stuck sideways, which could happen. But there you go. 
that's my tip for you. All right, enjoy. Let me know what you think. Please uh, comment below. Give us a thumbs up if you might use it or think it's a great idea. And uh, please subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.